Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new Trains Are Awesome video. I'm Tom, that's Lindsay. We're standing in front of Chicago's Union Station. It is 6.15 in the morning. I think the earliest I've ever been here. I'm super excited for this trip anyways. We're taking Amtrak, Amtrak's Wolverine number 350. The train goes to Pontiac, Michigan via Detroit. We're getting off at Kalamazoo. And I thought you already did the Wolverine, Tom. What's this about? Well, on today's Wolverine trip, we're going to be trying out the brand new Midwest Venture cars. These cars were built by Siemens. They've been built a few years ago, but they've had all sorts of issues. And since 2022, they're finally in regular service. And this Wolverine 350 is one of only two trains to have them. So let's go. If you love train travel, hit that subscribe button. We upload at least once a week, and this way you won't miss any of our content. Today we will not be hanging out in the lounge. Although that would be nice. Instead, we have coach tickets, which I bought about a week ago for $27 a person. Of course, as always, I buy my train tickets online at Amtrak.com. There you go, the 6.45 a.m. <laughs> All right, come on down and see us again real soon. When you do come back and see us, bring more money with you. As impressive and soothing as the Great Hall in Chicago Union Station is, the Amtrak waiting area has the opposite vibe. It really feels like they took an airport and stuck it underground. My advice would be to show up to the gate about a half hour before your train scheduled departure. Many people like to get to the station early, as seen here. I was really worried we weren't going to be able to get a seat together, but of course Amtrak seats you based on your final destination, and I guess more people were headed to Detroit than Kalamazoo today. About 10 minutes before departure they let us onto the platform, and here we catch our first glimpse of our train. The train on the right are the new Siemens Venture cars that we're about to get on, but the train on the left is our Wolverine train. As you can see, there's an SC44 Charger locomotive on the back. These are also built by Siemens, and when we walk a little bit farther up, we notice that the first car is not one of the new Venture cars, but actually an Amfleet Cafe car. This is because the Venture Cafe cars have not been taken into service yet. And so right now, all the coach train cars are the new venture cars, but business class is still the Amfleet. If you want to ride the new trains, make sure you don't upgrade to business class when you're booking this train. Trust me, for this ride, coach is worth it. Here are the new cars. I am really excited about Amtrak cars that aren't stainless steel silver on the outside. I can't tell you how excited I am. We're looking here to the uh, Before we leave Chicago, let's review the seats. So a common concern was that the baggage space would not be enough. However, I found that the room on top of the seats was pretty similar to other Amtrak trains that I'd been on. If it's not enough for your big bags, then there is a baggage rack on both ends of the train which double as bike racks. I think this was a great addition. Instead of the classic Amtrak curtains, these trains had sun blocking blinds similar to Japanese trains. Every individual seat has an armrest on both sides, which I haven't experienced with Amtrak before. Now let's talk about the seats themselves. Many people have complained that they're not as comfortable as other Amtrak seats, and yes, a Superliner seats are more comfortable, but honestly, for this three hour journey, my seat sat fine. Maybe if they order a long distance version of this train, they'll find something comfier, but for the nature of these trips, I think this seat was perfect. Certainly when it comes to legroom, I had nothing to complain about. 
In typical Amtrak fashion, this was incredibly generous. Having outlets between the seats was also helpful because now you don't need to have your wires cross over the person next to you to plug your phone into the wall. I thought the passenger safety instruction booklets were interesting because they show a prototype for the cab cars that will be put on the Hiawatha service sometime in the future. I'm really excited to see how those turn out. Once again, a very large tray table was also surprisingly sturdy. Welcome aboard Amtrak. 350 over in eastbound Michigan Line service going to Pontiac. Watches, so promise that travel. Cafe is currently closed. Once they are open and serving, the cafe has ended. The first part of the Wolverine's journey out of Chicago is on freight tracks. And normally this is a pretty bumpy ride, but on these new Siemens cars, it was so incredibly smooth. I was very impressed. Now the feature I was most excited about, the passenger information displays, unfortunately weren't working. Also, listen to this. Yeah, this is ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at our next station stop of Hammond Whiting. One door open here for Hammond. I guess I don't think we see you for a member of the crew. Let's get now arriving Hammond Whiting. That's like the same chime as NS uses in the Netherlands. Beste reizigers, de sprinter naar. Het volgende station is Leiden Lammenschans. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. That last station stop was Hammond Whiting. Our next station stop in approximately 50 minutes. New Buffalo. Let's get New Buffalo next. 50 minutes. That little chime really brought me back to five years of commuting by train in the Netherlands. And Hammond Whiting Station really brought me back to a few weeks ago when we made an emergency stop there to let an extraordinarily disruptive passenger off the train. Let's head to the bathroom and see what those are like. Considering these trains are brand new, I have high expectations. Now this is a train bathroom. Let's check it out. in here Now, of course, these bathrooms were one of the reasons that the trains had issues because there was lead in the water pipes. But that's not the only issue that needed to be resolved before these trains could be put in service. Now let's talk a little bit about these Siemens Venture cars. Siemens, of course, is a large German train producer. They have many different trains in Europe, most famously their railjet. These high-speed push-pull train sets run in Austria and the Czech Republic, as well as neighboring countries, and are considered some of the most comfortable trains in Europe. The Venture cars are basically the North American version of that. They were built at a Siemens factory in California because U.S. law states that companies must produce their products in the United States using U.S. labor. We first saw these cars on Brightline the private high-speed rail in southern Florida. We did a trip report on this, make sure to check it out if you haven't already. 
the Amtrak version of these cars actually have a long and complicated history. At first, the transport departments of California and Illinois were supposed to buy double-deck trains from Nippon Shario. However, a prototype of these trains failed a crash test, and so a new manufacturer was selected. This was Siemens, who had only just launched their new venture platform. The cars were ordered in 2017 and delivered in 2020. Let's see what I got. You got a coffee. Ooh. And we're sharing this piping hot sandwich. seats no matter what type of train it is are always very comfortable um, but looking around this Amfleet car which is several decades old you can tell that uh, it's a lot more dated than the Venture cars. We're gonna enjoy our meal here and then we're gonna head back to our flashy new seat. But during a test they found lead in the water pipes in the bathroom. Initially Siemens and Amtrak fought over who would pay for the costs of replacing the pipes Ultimately, it delayed the introduction of the trains until March 2022. Almost immediately, the trains were taken out of service again. This time, because magnets in the tables that were supposed to keep the tables in their place were destroying people's phones and computers. The magnets were ultimately removed, and in April of 2022, these cars were finally put in service. This time, hopefully for good. They're currently only running on the Missouri River Runner Lincoln service between Kansas City and Chicago, as well as one round trip on the Wolverine. We're now passing through Porter, Indiana. Here, we will get off the NS Chicago line and continue on to the Amtrak Michigan line. This is a pretty unique line because it is owned by Amtrak and it also has a very high speed. Trains reach 110 miles per hour on this segment. I always think it's really fun to zoom through the Michigan landscape at 110 miles per hour. Along the way, it stops at stations like New Buffalo, Niles, and Dwajak. Though the trains still carry the yellow Amtrak steps, passengers can now enjoy the retractable steps when boarding the train. Once the cafe cars are delivered, there will also be a wheelchair lift. Now one question that many people may have is how is the Wi-Fi? Well, Wi-Fi on Amtrak is always a hit or a miss, but I found it to be better on these Venture cars than on some of the older trains. I had a little bit of trouble connecting at first, but I tried again and it worked. It kicked me off occasionally, but I would only have to reconnect again and I stayed on. Not ideal, but I've definitely experienced worse. That's 35 more minutes to enjoy these trains. And in about two and a half hours, we were already nearing Kalamazoo Station. It was a very comfortable two and a half hours. These Venture cars are such a smooth ride. They're very quiet, they're not bumpy at all, and all in all, for these short haul routes, I think they're an impressive improvement on previous trains. They still retain much of that Amtrak comfort, such as legroom and soft seats, and while they're definitely not overnight seats, they're going to be used in state corridors on day trains. Now 
Now, if I may make one complaint about these Venture cars, it's that. Amtrak, like, what, what's going on there? Why doesn't it? Seems like something that um, could have been prevented at the design table. Oh well, maybe they'll fix it someday, I hope. So the Venture cars are currently on Wolverine's train 350 and 355, as well as the combined Lincoln Service Missouri River Runner trains number 318 and 319. Thanks so much for watching today. We're going to be reviewing a lot more trains on this channel, both new and old. Stick around, subscribe to Trains Are Awesome, and we'll see you next time.